what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more legacies this is season one episode uh nine um i finally got both of my lights working i don't know that one just came online <laughs> it's so weird i don't know i can turn them on and off and turn my computer on and off and it doesn't make a difference i don't know sometimes it just doesn't work mm. come on aircon turn on there we go um so we got lots of uh, answers and lots of questions still from this whole Malivore business. Let's get into it. Okay, what monster is this? It's like a bride. How long do you think it'll be before the next monster shows up? Hard to say. Like five minutes ago? She's seen an artifact glow before. Where did you hide the urn, by the way? I'm not sure I should tell you. Excuse me? Isn't it safer if only one of us knows where it is? Well, then that one of us should be the adult. Funny. Because I thought it should be the one of us with high level superpowers. What do we tell everyone else? We should probably warn them before a Cyclops crashes exam week. It's usually best to start with some form of the truth. What about those times the truth is the one thing you can't say? Are you sure you want to keep all this from Landon? I mean, I understand you want to... You should tell him. him He's been wondering about his mother his whole life. He finally meets her and then she dies. If I can keep him from knowing what that feels like, then it's worth it. I mean... Look, it's my secret. To keep something like that from him forever is not good. Please. And if you're gonna eventually tell him, then you might as well tell him now. The trick is to give everyone the right amount of information without giving away too much. I've been through this before with the knife, so it shouldn't come as too much of a shock. This is our chance to do things differently. More responsibly. Yesterday I came into possession of another Malivor artifact. It was my hope to find a method of containment before it signaled another monster. Should we be telling everyone there? Emergency meeting I've just called. I'm sure what if one of these well people, happens. like, is bad? Do you see hope anywhere? But rest assured, we are taking every precaution. Sheriff Donovan has been kind enough to open the doors of the Lockwood Mansion <clears> to us. So Mr. Williams and Miss Tig are now in the process of evacuating our students from the lower grades. Hope's MIA. Yeah, she's probably suiting up in a battle armor. Girl's basically Wonder Woman. <laughs> After that, if she's realized she's made a mistake bringing me back here, because where I go, danger follows. Come on, bro. Now, this one's not on you. I mean, her being distant today has got to have something to do with us waking up in a field with amnesia yesterday, right? Uh, Wait, so it's only been a day and you're freaking out? <laughs> you guys got there. I just... I, I just wouldn't think about it. Look, you're here. Think about good things in your life instead of getting caught up in the bad for once, bro. Whoa, the music. You passed out, huh? You're very cute when you sleep. What? I'm sorry, but I thought you said, um... Mm. Forget it. My brain's fried. Well, then maybe you should take a break. Uh, okay, this is a dream, obviously. Where is it? What are you doing here? Pathetic little punk. Where the hell is it? Where is what? You know what I want. I don't know what you want. I don't know. <laughs> You know what I want. Okay, it's a nightmare person. Ooh. Okay. You know, this is reminding me of a Wings Club episode in like volume three. Where the tricks to you in a night. Sorry. Um, where the tricks send like this little goblin creature thing and like they have nightmares and stuff. Um Don't laugh at me. Winx Club was great. Sure. 
Look, I know that it sounds crazy, but I was studying and then I fell asleep and then I just started dreaming about... about what? Um, one of my old uh, foster dads. He was in the library and he had this old belt that he used to use on me. Do you remember anything else? Yeah, you kissed him? Yeah, was, and called him cute? There too. She was wearing an, an old black dress and a, and a veil. And she told me, you know what I want, but... Bjorn. Sounds like our next monster showed up. Every culture on Earth has legends about creatures that only appear in dreams. You're in our dreams. A woman in a black dress and a veil. It's pretty specific. So does that mean that she can, like, control what we see in our dreams? That she can put stuff in our, in our heads, right? Possible. Does that look familiar? Our latest monster is a night hag. A malevolent spirit <laughs> trapped not in the hag, astral okay. plane that can only interact with us through dreams. In this case, nightmares. So like Freddy Krueger. Don't fall asleep. Hey! Why is everything but your E's in capitals? I'm just gonna say that's that's not how you do it. The E should be capitalized too. Vampires have such an advantage. They can literally just read it really fast. Okay, so you fell asleep. When did you fall asleep? Yo, what, what is this? You can't say these things about Big D, my man. Okay, like the guy, you can't, you can't. Is that my presentation? Dude, just because you need to dry out does not mean you need to take down the entire vampire cannon. Just because vampires have been like this for the last century doesn't mean we have to stay that way. What do you, MZ, what? What is it, Mr. Kirby? I think there's some kind of mistake. I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to be taking a test. It's my first day. Of course you're supposed to take an exam. If you don't pass, you're not allowed to stay. But I haven't even started. I didn't know. I suggest you produce answers and not excuses. Five minutes left, everyone. Who, who the hell are you? <laughs> I've never seen this teacher before. <laughs> you know, this is now sorry, starting to remind me pencil. of that Buffy episode. On the desk. In season one. Window. Very much so. You know what's really weird? I don't think anyone would actually laugh in that scenario. W would it's you me. laugh? Who will wake up? You know what you must do, Landon. Bring it home. The senior witch faculty has mixed together a batch of energy herbs to help you stay awake. So for those of you who are not getting on the evacuation bus for lack of a better term, please dose yourselves responsibly. I'm gonna get sued. Or hexed at the very least. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. In my last school, the gym teacher was dealing coke under the bleachers. Oh yeah, that only makes me feel marginally better. Yeah, uh, don't still. I'm almost done, okay? What do you think she meant when she said bring it home? I'm guessing she means Malivore. It seems her plan is to torment us until we produce the urn. Right, but if the night hag is a monster that's trapped on the astral plane, then how can she even physically take the urn anywhere? Yeah, the book also says the night hag can't affect our reality, but Raphael's welt in your hands seem to prove that wrong. When your research consists of fairy tales and urban legends, sometimes the stories get twisted. You wouldn't drag in anyone? Dorian might be busy with the evacuation, but we'll figure this out. Well. At least it was a pretty memorable first day. Yeah, and the night hag is likely just getting started. You know, Landon, I really wish you'd just evacuate with the others. I worked so hard to get here, but if I run at the first sign of trouble, what's the point? The point, Landon, is that we're trying to look after you. Honestly, you two are taking better care of me than anyone in my life ever has. Of course, I had to stab myself to get your attention. You know, we're all good here. Uh, Hope? Maybe pick up on some signals there? I'm blowing this, aren't I? You know, Landon, sometimes the best thing for hope is just let her be hope. Stay busy. She'll talk when she's ready. I don't mean to get in your business, but be cool with Landon, okay? I know him, and he's not going to believe that he's welcome here until he's about to graduate. He's going to be waiting on the other shoe to drop. And look, if, if you're going to drop that shoe, all I ask is that you 
You be gentle, okay? What makes you think that there's another shoe? Where we're from, there's always another shoe. Sometimes it's, it's an actual shoe or a belt. Did you get the point? Look, if you're cooling off on him, fine. But just don't lie to him. It's been a day! I'm cooling off on him. Why have you been avoiding him? Because there's a lot going on. It couldn't hurt to be a little more honest about it. I'm being as honest as I can be. Yeah, and somewhere still in that is a lie. You've never lied to protect someone? No, Hope. I haven't. That's a lie, because you didn't mention earlier what your dream was about. Let's pretend for a second that the research isn't wrong. Maybe the night hag can't hurt us in real life. And maybe the night hag can't leave the astral plane and get a hold of the urn. So maybe we're not dealing with a night hag. Well, if it walks like a night hag and talks like a night hag, what else could it be? That's exactly what I was wondering. So then I started going through all these books and boom. What's an honorary? It's a black wing shape-shifting dream demon from Greek mythology. Yeah, of course he knows what it is. Why would one monster disguise itself as another monster? The honorary sounds freaky enough. Because if we knew what it actually was... You know how to stop it. Hope. Kiss him for me. Smart. A black Why are you not kissing him? Dream demon. What the hell? I know it sounds bad. What are you doing? We know what the creature is, we can fight it. How the hell are we supposed to kill a dream demon? Leave that part to me. But since I can't fall asleep without compromising the location of the urn, I need someone else to pull it out of the dream plane and into our waking reality. So, Freddy Krueger, like I said. Hey, what are you doing? How do you have it? What any rational adult caretaker of children should be doing. We found out how to kill the night hag, and now I'm taking the urn as far away as possible to do just that. But we already have a whole plan. Yeah, a plan that puts you and your fellow students in the direct line of danger. I didn't even tell you where I hit the urn. Yeah, we didn't have to. I found it in the safe with the Michelson crest that you built into the floorboards of your closet. Like I said earlier, it is my job to take care of all of you, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. No, you're doing that thing that you do, waving your adult card around, forgetting that it means you're a father of two. You're fallible. You're human. You can be killed. I've also been kicking supernatural ass longer than you've been alive. True. Hey, girls. I'm guessing you're with your mother taking your exams. Hers are much harder than mine, so you're probably wishing you'd stay so behind we've had and fight the latest. No, Lizzie and Josie for like three episodes. What is this? I don't I've done like that. Done something very smart, or very dumb. And if it doesn't work out, you're gonna be really upset with me. And just know that I love you both very much. Ah. Uh, oh, ready. What'd you do to him? Nothing. He's so tired, he must have nodded off on his own. Damn it. Hey, man. What have you seen in there? It's not real, OK? Oh, I know. I've already faced my worst nightmares in that cemetery, so bring it on, Hack. I don't think you should do this. No, uh -uh. you don't get to ignore me. I'll have you this for me. You're going to be inside of a nightmare. Yeah. This monster can get inside of your head. Use your worst fears against you. Are you kidding? My biggest fear was fitting in here. Now I'm a dream warrior. Plus, I saved the day. Well, I no, I found the plan that saved the day. You're the one that's actually going to save the day. <laughs> Which is so sexy, by the way. <laughs> I'm staying. I don't know if you stop this thing. I don't know what it's going to take to stop it. But maybe there's one thing that you can do to help me. Sweet dreams. This is all just a bad dream. You know what I need. Prize and shine! <laughs> that wouldn't affect him, would it? What? Why wouldn't that affect him? He just got into a car crash. Sorry, that just came off so fucking quickly. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here now. Get away, get away, get away. Hey, it's okay. You can't hurt me. Hmm. It's okay. I don't like where this is going. I'm not afraid of hurting you. I want to be with you. Don't you want that too? No, no, I don't. I don't like this. Like, I don't like the sudden realization of feelings. 
I like them being this friends. Lived through my nightmare. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't beating. I, I swore off. It's who you are. Look around. You defend your kind, yet still fear you are wrong. You are nothing. Nothing. Small spaces, Landon. Getting smaller. This is all you. Fine. So be it. I would never do this to Landon. This isn't real. You're not real! But you wish it was. And that makes you the worst kind of monster. <laughs> I disagree. You know how to make your suffering stop. You damn shit I did. You know what you need to do to end this. Bring me the urn. You can drop the act. Show me your face. Your real face. Why are they going for all the really gross weird effects? What the hell? Yeah. You have wings. I know where it is. You want the earth so bad? Let's go get it. Hope? Hope? Are we alive, dude? Did we win? Hey, is everybody okay? You see any dead dream demons laying around? Did I tell Landon the wrong hiding place for the urn? Oops. I grabbed the monster like MG said, but I... I don't know if it worked. And where is Hope? She was in my dream. And then I don't know if she was going. What's that? Wait, what, what, what was Hope doing in your dream? So do you see him? Usual, just being a badass. <laughs> Pretty much like that. Stay back, guys. I got this. Hope! Okay, this is a bit overkill. If someone just like collapses and like and goes to sleep, it'd be great. Great job tonight. Thanks. Are you okay? You know, all day it feels like I've been waiting for the other shooter to drop with you. When Landon and I first met in Hector and Maria's, he told me the story about this guy four towns over who used to burn him with cigarettes for sport. Yeah, heard about that. I felt this crazy need to protect him, even though I knew it wouldn't change anything. So one day I took a couple buses I knocked on that guy's door and I beat the crap out of him. I never told Landon about it either. I knew that he wouldn't want to be a part of something like that. So what I said earlier about lying, I was being a hypocrite. Because when someone is as important as Landon is to me, I'll do what's best for him. Even if that means having to lie. But I also have to protect him from being hurt in other ways too. So you and I, we can't talk like this anymore. Yo, that's one more monster down. Hmm, you two are enough. now officially part of the Super Squad. So I have this whole thing that I need to say. I've spent most of my life afraid and unsure. I mean, even when you guys brought me back here, it didn't get better. It got worse because now I actually had something to lose. And it didn't help that it felt like you were avoiding me, yeah, keeping things from me. And then I fought a dream demon, a creature who exists literally to make me live on my worst fears. And I thought, what have I been so afraid of? If you want to change your mind about being with me, change your mind. Because I'm going to work that much harder to make you change it back. If you need to lie to keep dream demons from getting their claws on the urn, lie to keep secrets. Because you're burdened with all the responsibilities no one else can handle. It is my job to bust my ass until you see me as someone to confide in. Oh my god. I'm not going to be afraid of losing you anymore, Hope. That's so exactly. interesting. You're gonna be the guy who always fights to find you again. Sorry. I'm done. Most relationships on TV are always like, don't lie to me. You're lying to me. We're gonna break up. Blah blah. Dude, but like he's just like, I'll I'll wait or whatever. Tree. 
and I think I've kind of beautiful. Well, I hope you weren't planning on going to sleep anytime soon. Where did you end up hiding that? You know, I couldn't fully decide on a new hiding spot, so I just stashed it under my pillow. <laughs> that would be so uncomfortable. How can we help you? I have a few questions for one of your older foster children, if he's around. No, Rafael was lucky to be adopted by a wonderful family in Virginia. Actually, I'm here to speak with Landon Kirby. No, sorry. He was lucky to be adopted by a wonderful family in Virginia. Are they compelled? I see. Now, you've said all you're able to say. Literally. Yeah, seems, seems so. In that case, would you happen to have any of this young man's belongings? A journal, a letter, or a photograph? Why don't you come inside? Delighted. Alrighty, well that was Legacy, Season 1, Episode 9. Um... Pretty decent episode. Um, I mean, there's always, like, an episode like this on, in, like, Supernatural shows where they, like, explore their fears. Um, I don't like that, like, Raph seems to have a crush on Hope now. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that idea because I kind of liked, like, the fact that they were friends. And whether or not they stay friends or they end up getting together or whatever. I kind of just like on TV shows when two characters stay platonic um, without any romance getting involved because to me that's how some friendships are and I think that's important to um, display on TV because a lot of the time um, Everyone just gets with everyone on TV shows. Um, and that's kind of annoying to me. I just like to have two people be friends. And that's it. And so that was a little bit annoying to me. Um, MG seems to be scared of becoming a killer. Which you wouldn't be if they just taught you how to feed properly. I'm just saying. Um, and Caleb seems to be scared of people thinking the vampires are evil, which I can get. Um, yeah, pretty decent episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.